Hi, in this video I am going to discuss about joints in SQL Server. Joints play a vital role in retrieving data from two or more tables in SQL Server. There are six types of joints in SQL. Inner join, left join or left outer join, right join or right outer join, full outer join or full join, Cartesian product or cross join and finally self join. We will discuss about each of these joints. Inner join. This is the most commonly used and it will retrieve the data only if the criteria is satisfied on both the tables. To show you the example, I have created two tables here, student and student address. In student table, I have 10 records. Student ID starting from 1 to 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And here I have four columns, ID, first name, last name and class. Similarly, I have created student address table. This also contains 10 records. That is for each student, I have provided the address here in student address table. This table have 4 columns, ID, address 1, address 2 and zip code. So I will show you how to get student details along with the address details using inner join. Uh, to explain the inner join functionality in detail, I have deleted one record from student table. I am deleting id equal to 5 from student table. And similarly from student address table, I am deleting the record with id 7. So which implies in student table, I don't have the information about the student whose id is 5. And in student address table, I don't have the information about the address details of the student whose ID is 7. Okay. So according to the statements that I have told you about inner join, inner join will retrieve the data only if the criteria is satisfied in both the tables. So that is the ID 5 don't exist in student table and id7 doesn't exist in student address table so if we do inner join on these two tables using id column since 5 and 7 are not matching in both the tables these two records will not come in the output if we do inner join on these two tables uh, let's see the syntax of inner join select whatever the columns that you want select columns from table 1 inner join inner join is also a keyword table 2 on here you have to provide on which column you are doing the inner join that is common column in both the tables here I am providing alias names for table 1 and table 2 that is t1 and t2 t1 dot common column name equal to t2 dot common column name that is I am joining these two tables based on the common column so in the on condition I have to provide which column based on which column I have to join these tables so this is the syntax similar syntax we will be using for the other types of joins as well So let's see the example now. Example by joining student table and student address table. So here the column common column name is uh, ID. So I'm joining student table and student address table based on the column name ID. That is to select column names. So whatever the column names that I want, I am selecting it here and followed by from student inner join student address on student dot id equal to student address dot id uh, as i already mentioned we don't have uh, information for the student id equal to 5 in student table and id equal to 7 in address table so when we do the inner join on these two tables we will not get information about 
student id 5 and 7 because in both the tables criteria should match in so if we want the five record to be displayed in the result set then we want this id to be present in both the tables that is in student table and student address table if it is not there in at least one table then we will not get that information so when i execute this query as you can see i have 1 2 3 4 and fifth record is not there id 5 is not there because this is not there in student table and 6 id 6 is there and id 7 id 7 is also not there in the result set because this id 7 is not there in student address table though it is there in student table since it is not there in student address table we didn't get that information in the result set So I hope this information is clear and if this example is clear. So final statement is inner join will retrieve the data only if data is satisfied or data is matched in both the tables. If one table doesn't have matching data then we will not get that result in the inner join result set. I hope this example is clear. Let's move on to the next type of join that is left join or left outer join. It is used to retrieve the complete data from the left side table and matching data from the right side table. Syntax for left join is also very much similar to the inner join. You just have to replace inner keyword with left outer. Except that everything is same. But the functionality difference is left join will retrieve complete data from left side table and only the matching data from the right side table. Whether we have matching data in right side table or not, we will get complete information from the left side table. That is in this example, whether we have data matching in student table and student address table or not, we will get complete data from student table. So here as I already told you, student id 5 doesn't exist in student table and id 7 doesn't exist in student address table since we'll get complete information from student table uh, this is a left auto join so we'll get complete information from student table though we don't have student id 7 in student address table we got it in this result set because this uh, student id 7 is there in student table though it is not there in student address table so as you can see here we got 7 and since there is no matching data in student address table these values are populated as nulls. So let's move on to the next type of join that is right outer join. Similar to the left outer join, right outer join will retrieve the data from right side table whether we have matching data in left side or not. If at all we have matching data in left side table we will get the matching results uh, that is matching data. If we don't have the matching data, we will get nulls in that place. So syntax is also very similar, replace left keyword with right. And in this example, see, we, see student id 5 doesn't exist in student table, but it exists in student address table. So we got this id 5 in the result set, but the values are populated as nulls for the right side data which implies right join will retrieve complete data from the right side table and matching data from the left side table if at all there is no matching data from the left side table then nulls will be returned in that place let's move on to the next type of join full outer join this is combination of left join and right join in this join we'll get complete information from both left side table as well as the right side table if at all there is a matching data or a common data between left side table and right side table then common results will be returned if there is no common data then nulls will be returned in this example when i do the full outer join on student table and student address table for student id 5 we got address information and student details or nulls and for student id 7 we got student information and student address is null that is when the common data is there then we will get both the data from right side table and left side table if the common data is not there whichever table is not having the data that particular data will be replaced with null next type of join is cross join or cartesian product this is very rarely used and it will get complete data from both the tables it will match 
each record and left side table with the right side table and we'll get the information the one syntax difference is you don't have to provide on which column we are doing the cross join so we can remove this on statement when we are going doing the cross join so i'm doing the cross join on student and student address table here as i already mentioned we don't need on statement here on which column we are doing the join we don't have to provide it for the cross join uh, when i execute this command as you can see here we got so many records left side each record in left side table is mapped to each record in right side table here if you see id1 and left side table is mapped to id1 in right side table and again id2 is mapped to id1 in right side table 3 is mapped to id1 in right side table this process will go on until each record is covered on the left side and right side that is why we call it as a cross join or cartesian product the number of records that we'll get in the result set of the cartesian product will be equal to left side records multiply by right side records so in this example i have uh, nine records in the student table and nine records in the address table so the result set of this cartesian product of these two tables that is the result set of cross join of these two tables will be 9 into 9 9 multiply by 9 that is equal to 81 rows we'll get 81 rows when we do the Cartesian product on these two tables. So as you can see here I have 81 rows. Next type of join is self join. As the name implies it is joining a table with itself. There is no specific for syntax for the self join and there is no specific keyword like self join in SQL Server. So self join is nothing but joining the table with itself again. So we can use any type of join to join the table with itself like inner join, left outer, right outer, full outer join, any type of join to join a table with itself. As we have already discussed, join is basically to retrieve the data from two or more tables. So the only difference in self-join is we are retrieving the data from the team, same table twice. To show you the example here, I have created a table, employee table. This is having employee ID, name, salary and manager ID columns. Let's say if I want the manager name for the employee whose ID is 1. Then how do I get it? I have to look for the manager ID for the employee ID 1. So here in this example for the employee ID 1 manager ID is 5. If I want the manager name then I have to again hit the employee table and get the name of the employee where ID is 5. That will that will be the manager name for the employee ID 1. So here I will show you the query how I am doing the inner join. That is how I am doing the self join in employee table. Select whatever the columns you want from employee table, inner join, again employee table here. That is why we are calling it as self join. So for the first employee table, I am giving, uh, giving the alias name as even and for the second employee table I am giving the alias name as M1 I have given the alias name M1 because I am retrieving the manager details from the second table here I am doing the join based on employee table manager ID equal to manager table employee ID so that is in this case in the E1 table manager ID equal to 5 this should be mapped with M1 table employee ID 5 then only we will get the manager details that is for the employee ID 1 manager ID is 5 I want this manager ID 5 to be again mapped in the employee table where employee ID is 5 then only I will get the manager details I hope this is clear 
will run this query and we'll see. In simple words, for employee ID 1, manager ID is 5. I am mapping this manager ID 5 again with employee ID 5. This will give me the manager details for the employee ID 1. So I will show you the data in employee table once again. Select start from employee table. So here what I am doing is I am joining the manager ID 5 in employee table. So this 5 I am joining manager ID 5 I am joining the in the employee table again where employee ID is 5. I hope this logic is clear. So I will execute this query and I will show you the results. In the results set as you can see for the employee id 1 we got the manager id 5 and the manager name similarly for the other employees also we got the employee details as well as the manager details i hope this joins concept is clear if you have any doubts please comment on this video i'll get back to you please subscribe to my channel for more sql server videos thanks have a good day